Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how spiritual healing works and how the Tao Chang works and how uh, I'm going to offer a healing at the end of, this is going to be an introduction, how it works. I'm going to lead a meditation in the Tao Chang um, and at the end of the video I'm going to actually offer a healing blessing with every spiritual transmission. I've been I've, I've received from my spiritual teacher. So I'll explain what that means, okay, as well in these videos. So what you're looking at here is Tao, Tao is the source, Tao normal and reverse creation, okay? So this is the Tao normal creation. It's, it must, my teacher says the highest wisdom, okay? Lao Tzu touched on this. In fact, Lao Tzu taught this in the Tao Te Ching uh, 2,500 years ago, but it's a hidden teaching. My teacher has really gone deeper into this, okay? So, <clears throat> the normal creation is how everything, for, the Tao creates everything, and this is the process, okay? Tao is the oneness. It's the circle. That's meant to be a, a circle. It's not exactly a circle. The wholeness, the unified field, the oneness, Tao. Over eons, Tao creates a condition called Hundon, or Hundonichi. Hundonichi is a blade condition. A blade condition, okay? And what happens is, over eons, heavy chi, chi is energy, heavy chi falls, and that they separate. Light chi rises as they fall into two. Two is the universal law of yin yang, okay? Yin yang, the law of opposites, okay? This is how one creates two. This too is heaven and air, okay? Heaven, air, yin yang pair. Yin yang, yes, sorry, mother earth. Yin yang can be subdivided infinite times up, down, left, right, hot, cold, fire, water, inside, outside, so on, so on, so on. In this reality, infinite times, okay? Two, which is yin yang. Is two yin yang plus one equals three. Okay, so two is yin yang plus one. This is three. From three, all one wu is created. One wu is all things, 10,000 things allowed to represent everything, all things. This process is the macro which is one unified field, macro to the micro, which is countless things. I'll give you an example, okay? The physical body, the physical body, body belongs to the earth, okay? The spirit, the soul belongs to heaven, okay? When the physical body dies, goes back to the earth, soul returns to heaven, okay? But there is Tao within us, Yuan Shen, okay? Everything has Tao in it. The pen has Tao in it because Tao is all matter, is all Chi, is all Shen, which is spirit, is all Shu, which is emptiness. This is in the Taoist tradition. It's uh, Jing to Chi, Chi to Shen, Shen to Shu, Shu to Tao. This is the alch alchemical, okay? This is alchemy. This is through spiritual practice, turning your Ming uh, matter, Jing, to energy, energy to spirit, spirit to emptiness, emptiness to Tao. This is the process of you, Tao, highest achievement. You, Tao, Hergen is meld, meld with. Now, so don't want to confuse people. 
But in this heavenly realm, this is where the divine resides. Divine, okay? Uh, there's, a, there's a name for God, okay? In Chinese, it is Lao Tianye. Lao Tianye. Lao Tianye means great, great grandfather of heaven. The, the main soul of heaven, okay? God is God. God has melded with Tao. Tao is God. God is Tao at this stage. But the Tao is beyond. Like, you look at yin-yang, okay? Yin-yang in the symbol. The Tao is the circle, okay? So if you were to, uh, if you were to, Remove yin yang or yin yang melded together. What do you have? You have an empty circle. You have just the Tao, just the essence of Tao. It's so so profound. Okay, Lao Tzu started this book by saying the Tao that can be comprehended with words, uh, comprehended by thoughts or, or spoken in words, is not Tao. It's not the true Tao. Once that you try and explain what the Tao is, it's lost. It's come down, it's lost. But yet the Tao is in everything. It's the source of all the things. It is the, the, the unified field, okay? So, understanding this, and this might take a leap of faith, I get that, but a leap of understanding. My spiritual teacher, through his hard work and his lifetimes and lifetimes of service, okay? He's been a, a, you know, maybe a, a sage in many, many lifetimes. He has constantly uh, uplifted his soul standing, but also his guides. I'll give you an example, okay? Guan Yin was with him since he was young. When he was with Master Guo, Shu Jia Mo Fu. Shu Jia Mo Ni Fu. Shu Jia Mo Ni Fu is our Buddha. It's it's Buddha, right? Shaki Mo Ni Buddha. Shu Jia Mo Ni Fu, when he when my teacher was younger, sat in his chest and and soul guided him for for years. Okay. Master Sha always says Shu Jia Mo Ni Fu will be my teacher forever. Okay. Then. As he kept serving, serving selflessly, selflessly purified, Master Shah, he got approached by layers of divine consciousness. And he's been guided and uplifted since. His books explain this. Okay, it is a leap of faith. I understand that. But what he's, a, what he's done is, and don't, don't think this isn't completely unique to Master Shah. Uh, you can research oral transmissions and their different blessings. What's an oral transmission? You have a master, okay? A master, and they have a few students. If one student, they want to pass down their lineage, okay? They can give a short sentence, a short ta-da, and the, the students poof, gain, the, gain the essence of their enlightenment. They become enlightened, and they become the lineage of this master now. And they have to choose a disciple. This is how it's always gone throughout history. So an oral transmission, you can hear, I've, I've had experience like this when I've heard other masters speak. They might share one sentence. And this is my understanding of it. This is my breakdown of what I think is happening. When we talk, right, we might gain an insight. Let's see if I can draw it on the board. We, we might have an insight that might be so vast in, in information. When we have to speak that whole frequency band into a language, we have to try and condense it into a tiny frequency wave, okay? Because words are so limited. But let's say you're trying to explain, you know, so many people have experienced it all the time. I try and explain what I'm trying to explain. It comes out at probably 10% of how I understand it, okay? But when a true master, say that a true master understands through experience this uh, wisdom. Say you're a student here, say this is a student. 
they might share one one short message a, tra- a oral transmission but the the words carry all of the wisdom so even though you've only heard one sentence it boom it bowls you over it literally every single cell of your being understands it okay this is like a trans a transmission so this is how i see the oral transmission working but i'm going to explain so basically before i go into the next the next thing i'll say this you have tian which is heaven okay tian means heaven then you have a d which is mother earth then you have ren okay ren is humanity human beings you know that actually has a bigger meaning than human beings but i won't go into it now um anyway heaven is above us higher vibration mother earth below us denser vibration but is is still still mother earth last longer than us okay so in this in this principle okay this is normal creation this is how tao creates one one creates yin yang heaven and earth two, uh, creates two two which is yin yang plus one is three from three all things are created this this macro to micro is like a, a lightning fork coming down okay comes off many 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 times many many times this is the one one field one down to the countless things in the micro micro macro to micro the reverse is one who gwe san san gwe a a gwe yi gwe dao it means uh, one who returns to three three returns to two two returns to one one returns to that was a natural process it's a natural process but how does it happen lao zu said Zen fa di, di fa tian, tian fa dao, dao fa zen. What do you mean? Human beings are here, zen, okay? Di, which is Mother Earth, here. Tian, which is heaven, here. Dao, oh, sorry, dao, which is here. What he means is, human beings Everything has Shen Qi Jing. Shen Qi Jing. Teach you all the time. You never heard it enough. Even if you think you've heard it enough, you haven't. You keep getting insights. Matter, energy, spirit. The Shen Qi Jing of Ren, of a human being, only lives a hundred years. But Mother Earth is, you know, four billion, they tell us. We don't, we don't know that for sure, but let's say four billion. It's a lot older than us. Therefore, Mother Earth has... A more pure, refined Shen Qi Jing than human beings. So, this is what he said. Ren Fa Di. We follow the Earth's laws. If it's cold outside and we haven't, we're not able to harness our true abil- uh, abilities to, to regulate our temperature. You know, I made another video where we're, we're tapping in at like zero percent, basically. So, basic human beings live a hundred years. We are we we follow the Earth. If it's cold, we get cold. If it's hot, we get hot. We follow the Earth's laws, okay? But Di Fa Tian, Mother Earth follows heaven. What's that mean? Anything that happens on Mother Earth, there is a spiritual reason for it. All form, all form we see is informed, okay? You see a big tsunami happen. People who die there, it's very sad because the spirit, always a spiritual reason. So human beings follow the earth, earth follows heaven, heaven follows the Tao. Tao Fa Zi Ren. Tao Fa Zi Ren. What's that mean? Tao follows what is natural. The natural laws of the universe are Tao. Okay? So this is how we meld with Tao. We meld with Tao by pure spiritual practice, selfless service. We purify our Jing Qi Shen. And we, once our Jing Qi Shen is purified to Mother Earth, we are not governed by Mother Earth anymore. We're in harmony with Mother Earth. We can stop natural disasters. It might seem like too much for people to understand. Just drop it. 
We can purify our shanty jing with heaven. It takes a lot of effort. We can purify our shanty jing to meld with Tao. And this is the essence of the spiritual journey. This is Tao reverse creation, which is where all beings are gone, but we're stuck in one room right now. Birth, old age, sickness, death. Birth, old age, sickness, death. Birth, old age, sickness, death. That's what we're doing now. And in that process, we're creating more and more karma. We're stuck here. We're stuck here in one woo. This is why all mantras like love, peace, harmony. Uh, I love my heart and soul, step one. I love all humanity aligned with service. I love everything else. Join hearts and souls together is retaining all beings to doubt. Love, peace, harmony is the, is the, is the, is the goal. Mantras like Shen Chi Jing Hui. That's saying the Shen Chi Jing of all beings join as one. What is one? One is Tao. One is oneness. Okay? That mantra is the most powerful mantra. All beings enlighten and melt with Tao. Tian Di Ren Hui. Join as one. Heaven, Mother Earth, human beings join as one. That's what that mantra means. Wan Ling Rong Hu. I say one ling, which is all things joined together as one. One is Tao. These all these mantras mean Tao, uh, meld with Tao, Yu Tao Hujin, or Yu Tao Hujin. That literally translates to meld with Tao. All beings meld with Tao. Okay. So that is the reverse process of of um. The, the normal process of creation, the reverse process of creation. So, where am I going with this? Transmissions. Once you have that foundational understanding, from this level here too, okay, we have the level plane where we exist, the, 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 where, where Ren exists, and we have matter below us, earth, the earth, and then above us we have heaven. Okay. Now, what my teacher, Master Shah, has, has done, he does it in his books, okay? He offers spiritual transmissions for one reason only, one reason only, to heal yourself, heal your family, heal your community, help save the world. So if we go back to the analogy I've shared a few times, This is one way I can explain it, okay? Human being, external hard drive, 50 gigabytes. Where's the jing? Where's the matter? The matter is the body, okay? The matter is the hard drive, yeah? Okay, where's the chi? Where's the chi? Well, in the hard drive, the chi is the plug. It's either going to be a USB plug into the computer or it's going to be a plug, okay? That's what gives energy to the matter there. With human beings, if our instrument, our instrument is constantly absorbing energy and conducting energy from the earth and from the field, okay? If our instrument is tight, closed off, calcified, okay, I've been done made videos on this, you're not going to pick up much energy. It's why so many people suffer with chronic fatigue, okay? Where's the Shen? Let's say Shen is spirit, okay? The inf uh, information, information. Message. The information is in the field. Now, let's say this is an empty, uh, empty hard drive. The empty hard drive means that there's no information on it. It's got the memory to fit it in. This has an information field, our body has an information field of our karma and what we have to experience in life. And the information of what is, why our, our bodies beat, because they've got our information, they know what they're doing. Our heart has its own soul, okay? Everything has a field. Uh, the, the, the DNA, the, the, uh, uh, each one has an information field. Joe Dispenza explains this beautifully. Um, a number of information fields come together, they create you know, a chemical, a tissue, an organ, a system. Every one of them has a collective consciousness, an information field, and when they merge, 
two, a number of organs merged together, they create a coherent information field, which is a system, systems of the body. So this is a typical human being. Let's say I filled this hard drive with, with inspirational movies, 50 gigabytes of inspirational movies, okay? Beautiful, high frequency and vibration movies. Someone watches them. The information from these movies in the field can change their life, okay? Can heal them. So, what happens if somebody, if, 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 if a teacher can transmit a, a spiritual download, a spiritual treasure? Heaven, which is Tian, Ren, human beings, Earth. Okay, Mother Earth. Earth. What happens if a spiritual transmission with a spiritual uh, frequency and vibration can come to the physical body to save? Okay. Thank you, my teacher. Right? But I have actually received, me and my family received so many healing treasures. I've heal, received a, a, Dao, a Dao hands, which is a, a healing treasure, which is basically a spiritual transmission from Shen, from here. It's received from here to Jing. It comes in, so say that's, that's your normal hand with a normal information field of your hand. Dao hands, Dao hands is just a name, it's not Dao, it's not really what it, what it is. In this world, we need labels, we need uh, a names for things. Master Shao called it Dao hands, basically because you get a, a healing transmission with the frequency and vibration of the Dao, okay? Why? To heal. So let's say you have somebody come to you, and I've got so many testimonials, okay, of healings I've offered. Somebody has a bad back. Okay, bad backs out of whack. Now the information field of the transmission is like a light bulb. It's not always on. It is a tool. Just as you would use a hammer. It's not using itself if you don't pick it up. It's exactly the same. You invoke the treasure. You invoke the spiritual transmission. It is a huge information field that carries divine and Tao love, forgiveness, compassion, light, kindness, sincerity, all these, all these coherent frequencies of the divine and Tao. So if I was offering a healing, and I will offer a healing at the end of this video, it is not me offering a healing. That's the first thing you have to understand. You, this information field in this situation, this information field nourishes the spine. And if you have a bad back, you might have a karmic signature, karmic signature in your back that's keeping it low vibration. Okay? When the, I offer a healing blessing, I ask the treasure to heal, I don't do anything, and it can be remote, no time, no space. This information field goes to your condition and raises the frequency of vibration, transforms the karmic vibrational signature and offers healing, okay? My teacher says, if you're receiving blessings or you're doing a spiritual practice, more expectations, less results. Just be grateful. I'll guide you through a healing, but if I offer a healing, you're not asking me what to get. I don't, I don't need to know, okay? You make a request from your heart. Who are you speaking to? Heaven. Dear Divine Thou, please may I request a healing for finances, uh, relationships, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual conditions. And then just be grateful, lose all attachments, less expectations, bigger results. 
Okay? Don't expect anything. As a, as a healing practitioner, I don't, ex I don't expect anything. I say, please offer appropriate healing blessing, which means you'll, you'll get what it's between you and, and heaven. It's nothing to do with me. I'm just a, a very fortunate vessel. And, and, and you, can, you can get this. You can actually receive this. Uh, you can be a healer if you if you if you uh, if you want to do that. You want to go through my teachers' uh, healing programs. The thing is, I'm very grateful. I've received so many treasures. I've actually got you know jindans in specific places. I've got all these spiritual transmissions. If I'm going to share something with you now, there is. A number of healing treasures that can be accessed all the time, okay? One of them is Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Healing Ball. Shah's Golden Healing Ball. When Master Shah left his teacher in China to come to the West, his Master Guo's teacher wrote him a calligraphy and said, Ball. And he didn't know what it meant, okay? Then when he kept getting uplifted, he received from the vine a healing treasure that anyone in humanity can heal. There's an Indian student of Master Shah who was going to uh, these uh, places where the kids were, were uh, sick and he was treating uh, people who had like, not just kids actually, uh, people who had like throat cancers and things. And he just got them to put their hands on their neck and chant this for hours, right? And he said that all their tumors went soft and were shrinking. Now, I'll share, my wife has always had open spiritual channels, okay? Uh, before I opened my spiritual channels, my wife's always had, she always saw negative, you know, dark things before we found our spiritual teacher. When I found Master Shah, I was going to prove him right or prove him wrong, simple as that. So what I did was, I chanted uh, mantras three to five hours a day in the beginning. One night, my wife went to bed before me and I chanted Shah's Golden, the first time I'd ever done it, I chanted Shah's Golden Healing Ball for about an hour and a half. And uh, at the end of the practice, felt very beautiful, felt very, uh, just lovely state. I asked if Shah's Golden Healing Ball would stay with the family. We were going through a lot at that time. The house we were in was having a lot of bad energies in there and entities in there. I said, will you please stay and... Uh, look after the family. I woke up the next morning, my wife came, come out, Danielle, she looked exhausted. I said, Danielle, and I chanted this silent, by the way. Okay, I chanted an hour and a half silently. Shah's golden healing bow, Shah's golden healing bow, silently, not out loud. Danielle came out looking shattered. Okay, and I said, what's up? She said, I've been up all night. I said, why? She said, the sun, the sun was in my bedroom last night. She said, it was so bright in my third eye, I couldn't sleep, right? And my wife in the beginning of meeting our teachers, she had like maybe two years of literally just being exhausted. Because if you don't have a strong foundation and you have, a theta, you have an open spiritual channel, you drain your energy. You have to have a strong foundation to nourish the Kundalini to, uh, to open your third eye. Uh, so, you know, I said to her, I said, I've been chanting Shah's Golden Eden Ball last night. I asked it to stay. She said, well, thank you. It was beautiful. She went back. I couldn't sleep. It was too bright. Another, another treasure is divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light bulb. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, like invoke it. These are two books he offered. These are, when he reached another level, in his journey, he received this. You can call these, you can chant these. These are just for humanity, okay? Um, Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow, Light Ball. Another incredible spiritual transmission. But let's, my teacher is constantly evolving, okay? Constantly growing, constantly receiving new, deeper insights, deeper wisdom. Uh, higher abilities to offer blessings. So then he evolved to this. He's the only lineage holder of one of the oldest uh, 
the only lineage holder of the, uh, the uh, specific Ibiza technique of calligraphy, okay? So let's say there's a calligraphy on there, okay? And another one, right? Because I'm gonna, we're gonna be working with three and another one. I'm gonna be doing a meditation with Shanghai. Shanghai, uh, which means love. Love, peace, and Shanghai Pingan He Xie Shanghai Pingan He Xie Xie Okay, it means love, peace, harmony So we know Dr. Emoto Dr. Emoto uh, with the water he found that by putting a prayer saying I love you writing the word love on a glass of water and then freezing it very fast, the water would show beautiful crystals. And they had their own, uh, their own signature based on the message that was put on them. If you said things like you fool, or you played like heavy metal music, couldn't perform crystals, it was all distorted, okay? Therefore, even the calligraphies, if they never had a blessing in, the message is enough to heal. Uh, because the message of one is love. We all want love. Any suffering is a lack of love. Pure universal love is the Tao. Peace, we all want peace. Harmony, we all want harmony. Any struggles in the world, any challenges, is a lack of love, peace, harmony. So just love, peace, harmony is enough to transform everything, okay? Plus, the person who created them, my teacher, Master Shah, right? If you look at the teacher of interdependence, for him to write that, everything he's ever studied, every one of his lifetimes, every one of his lineages, he's a seven, uh, 373rd lineage of Pongzu, right? the founder of Taoism, he's a lineage of Guan Yin, is a lineage of the Da Beijo, all these different lineages, they're all in there. All of his upliftments are all in there. So they, there's so much frequency and wisdom in the calligraphies. But to add on to that, there is incredible spiritual frequency and vibrations downloaded to these. The three I'm going to do a meditation with actually have, I don't know how to spell it, I think it's I think it's, I think it's Zi, Zi Dan, might be spelt wrong, Zi Dan. Jin Dan is golden light balls, the Tao Jini, Zi Dan is purple, purple light ball. Higher frequency, okay, purple Dan. They have a love, peace, Harmony, purple, zidan, zidan, downloaded to them. So when I, so, so the purpose of a Tao Chang, it creates, Tao Chang means source field. Source field. If you go into a pub, there's a lot of drugs and alcohol and rough people there in the, in the matter. They are being incoherent and creating a frequency, a coherent frequency match for dark souls, okay? Dark entities. And they influence the physical being, it influence the person, right? And they make them wanna get do more, more, more. This is why, uh, you know, one theory with alcohol, why it's called spirit, is because, and I used to do this when I was younger, this sort of, alcohol's never agreed with me. You get so drunk. My master, master Shah says, uh, the body is the house of the soul. If you came into your physical house and it was so messy, you don't want to be in there, you want to leave. If your physical body is so unhealthy, your soul won't want to be there, your soul will leave. So many people, I've heard this theory, believe that when the body is so toxic from alcohol, the soul leaves, dark entities can enter. 
dark and you do stupid things. I used to get drunk. I wouldn't remember the night when I was younger and I'd just do stupid, stupid things. Really regret the things I would do. And I know and any any fighting that's ever gone on in my family is to do with alcohol. Right? We love each other except when there's drunk, there's trouble. And it's the same everywhere. So my point with this is if you go into a pub, the field is uneasy. I mean, have you ever gone into somewhere like that where, or there might be a big argument about to take place or just been a big argument? It's, you know, the, the, the expression, you can cut the atmosphere with a knife. It's like, oh, mate, this is so dense. How could you cut atmosphere with a knife? You can only do it if it's dense energy, okay? Or you go into, you think, I shouldn't be, uh, um, I, sh I need to get out. There's, there's, there's not nice frequency here. So this is a dark, a dark, a dark field, a negative field. What's a source field? You put up calligraphies around the room, creates a coherent vibrational signature for any enlightened soul or benevolent being that resonates, that is uh, vowed to create more love, peace, harmony. That's the power of a Tao Chan. Okay, and it's, you don't have to be there physically. So we're gonna do a meditation in this field, okay? A meditation in the Tao Chang. And then uh, at the end, I'm gonna offer a healing blessing with this calligraphy field and everything I've been given from my teacher. I'm telling you, there's a lot of treasures there. Don't, don't attach to it, not me. I'll guide you through it. All you're gonna do is lie down or get comfortable. Make a request. To, to heaven, not to me. Just be grateful in your heart, sincere, expect nothing. And I will offer, uh, th th these treasures will offer a healing blessing through, through my invocation. Very, very grateful that I, I can uh, uh, offer this. If you are skeptical, I think that's a really good place to be. I just want to add that in. I think be being skeptical is a great place. I am an open-minded skeptic. I'm a very skeptical person. Um, I'm not easily convinced. It has to make sense to me, or, and then I have to have an experience of it. So <clears throat> I, wa I want you to get skeptical people. Skeptical does not mean closed off. It does not mean that. In Buddhism, they say, the Buddha said, finding a guru, if you just put your faith in a guru and, and you haven't investigated them or seen if they lived the teaching or spent time with them, it's and follow them blindly. It's like a bull being pulled around by the ring in its, its nose. This is not what I want you to do, guys. I don't want you to just believe what I'm saying. I want you to do the practice, watch this video over and over, see if it makes sense. And at the end, when I offer a healing blessing, totally uh, surrender to it. Be open to it. Follow what I do, what I say. And ask for a healing blessing. And do it multiple times a day. You might enjoy the blessing. Uh, and if you do, do it again. Like do one when you get up in the morning. You might have a bad back. Every time uh, throughout the day, throughout, just keep asking for the, for the blessings, watching the video. Okay? One more thing I'm going to share just so you are ready for it. Open Spiritual Channels Workshop. I've done a few of these. Um, there's a beautiful, beautiful technique that my teacher shares to open your channels, okay? We're not gonna go over it here, but I'm just gonna set you up with something. Every single, all form, everything that exists, matter, has information or spirit, okay? Information informs, all form is informed, uh, quantum physics. All form is informed, the information there. When I offer a blessing, guys, I'm going to sing to you, okay? I'm going to sing to you. There's a spiritual technique my teacher has uh, shared to open your soul song, soul language. Soul, so soul language, soul song. Eric's song. Uh, <clears throat> you can communicate with any soul in creation with this technique. Anything you can communicate with. Buy a book called, back from my teacher, called Soul Communication. I might be communication. I might be doing a workshop soon. 
if we can't get into a premises because of lockdown, I might do one online. So keep your eye out for that. If I can do one on a webcast for you guys, I will do. But what I'm going to be doing is when I sing to you, okay, it's the frequency and vibration of my soul, okay? I'm going to sing a soul song. So you're going to receive a blessing from my soul because anybody can offer a blessing to anything from their soul song. Just it's a beautiful thing to do if you bring your soul, soul language out. Um, took me ages because I had a big ego. My ego was blocking me. I was thinking, oh, this isn't real. But, you know, I, I chanted to my soul song and tried to bring it out for 40 minutes a day for three months. When it came out, it moved me to tears. A very beautiful experience, okay? So... But this is me offering the blessing. The blessing, say this is you lying down. You'll be hearing me sing, but the blessing is not, it's coming from here, dudes. It's coming from heaven, blessing you, okay? So, uh, I love you all. I hope this is making sense.